Hey everyone, Lutzer here. So I'm gonna do a guild war and I'm just gonna go massive attack. At least that's the plan. So let's see how this is gonna go. So I'm gonna show you real fast my heroes. So I'm just gonna show them that the hero bases. We are gonna use Cupid for damage buff, Michael also for damage buff, Ares, Demogorgon, Anubis. So we're gonna use all of these with Pumpkin Duke. So let's see what enemies we are going to face today. So we have 184,000, 224, not bad. So a bunch of 200s. So I see another 200s, nice. So it looks like we're going to have five 200s, so that's pretty nice. So let's start with the fifth invite. Checking real fast who it is. So it looks like it's gonna be this one. So let's see. Damn, the loading is taking a while. So he has all double evolved heroes. Pretty to be expected, I think, when you are to the 100,000 might. So I'm just gonna go massive damage. Now I'm just gonna try and stack everything together. Looks like it worked. And there goes the heroes. And he's dead. That went pretty nice. I think once Demogorgon can proc with Pumpkin Duke, Michael and Cupid buffs, it's insane the damage he's gonna do. So we are at 90 plus percent already, not too bad. One more. Come on, kill it. 100%. Okay, 205,000 might, shouldn't be a problem. No idea why the loading is taking so long. So he has a double evolved Skull Knight, Ghoulim and Redrake. So he goes with a lot of health. So let's see how fast you are going to die. Time to stack up everything. And wow, look at the damage. Insane. Kind of wish I was facing a gunslinger, but... No luck so far, so we're gonna have to do it like this. As you can see, we're at 80-90%. So I really hope the next Fortress feud is gonna be a lot better, because it was so buggy last time, so in this weekend we are gonna have it again. So I really can't wait. How is it gonna go? 207,000, so let's go. God damn it, the loading. So we have a flat. Well, this shouldn't be a problem. He does have all arrow towers, so I'm gonna put my Anubis on first. To tank, basically. And everything is dead. Maybe I'm, I'm actually thinking about double evolving my Warlock and getting his War God 8 of 8 to get him in my sniper team. I think it would be interesting to actually use him, especially when people have like a gunslinger. I think he would be pretty effective, but I'm not really 100% sure. I haven't fought so many, so I don't know yet, but I guess in the future we will definitely see a lot of gunslingers in defense. So that's going to be really interesting and pretty hard, I think, to beat. So we have, a, actually we have a pumpkin duke here and a little nick. So this is going to be pretty easy once again. So I'm dropping Anubis first. And as you can see, this time I didn't have Revite on my Demogorgon. I went for Bulwark as he has 8 of 8 War God, so for more damage basically. And the Skull Knight can't even reach my heroes. So this was an easy one. Probably gonna do something different in the next guild war. Not really sure what what I will do, but we'll try and do something different. But it's not too easy to find something different. So if somebody has an idea, let me know, please. I will be happy to read it and look if it's possible to do. So we have the highest might here. So let's see how strong he is. So he has a Phantom King, Vlad. Looks like everybody is using a Vlad. I have no idea why. 
guess he doesn't have too many better heroes. So Pumpkin Duke, Cupid and Ares. Let's go. And bye bye heroes. This was a bit too easy but it didn't take too long so I hope you don't mind. So I want to thank you all for watching and I will hope I will see you again in the next video. Bye everyone.